Hello everyone. Welcome to Madam T Mathematic class. Let's continue Mathematic Year 4. Relationship between kilometers and meters. Km and M. This is the relationship between Km and M. 1 Km is equal to 1000 M meter. So when you want to convert from Km to M, we need to multiply by 1000. And if you want to convert from M to Km, so we have to divide by 1000. Or you can use second method, which is one tree box. Today, I will introduce to you one tree box. Before that, we already learned how to use one one box. One one box is for unit cm and mm. And then one two box. One two box is for unit meter and cm. For today, one tree box is for unit km and meter. Okay, look at this box. There are three box at the column of meter. The cut meter ni ada tiga peta. Okay, wish that you can only write one digit in each box. And then don't forget to put the point. The point is here. Okay. Let's look at example. How to use one tree box. Okay. Now we write 7 km. 7, digit 7. I write at the column of km. And then 95 meter. 95 meter. I have to write at the last two box at the last two boxes okay so this is 95 and then there is an empty place here i have to put a zero okay ada satu tempat yang tak ada digit saya kena tambahkan sifar di sini and then we refer to the question the question is asking the answer in meter and then we circle m in one tree box bulatkan unit m dalam one tree box okay m is without point tanpa titik perpuluhan so we can write the answer like this 7095 meter next one 12 km 3 meter so 12 km at the column of km i write 12 and then 3 meter i have to write 3 at the last column the last box okay kena tulis 3 di petak yang hujung sekali and then i have to add two zeros here tambahkan dua sifar di depan then we refer to the question. It is asking the answer in KM. Jawapan dalam KM. So circle KM in one tree box. It is included decimal point. Termasuk titik perpuluhan. So I have to put a point at the answer. So it is 12.003 KM. For this one, 15 km convert to meter. So 15 km, I write digit 15 at the column of km. And then, there is no meter, tak ada meter. So I have to add 3 zero. Tambahkan 3 sifar di sini. And then, the answer is in M, meter. So I circle meter in one tree box. Is without point, tanpa titik perpuluhan. So I have to write fifteen thousand meter. 
How about this? 6,075 meter. So look at this one, meter. So I have to start from the column of meter. Saya kena isi dari column meter. So I have to start at the last column. Saya kena isi bermula di tempat yang petak yang hujung sekali. Okay. So this one, I write 5. After that, 7, 0, and digit 6, I have to write at the column of KM. Okay, like this. And then, we refer to the question. The answer is in KM. So, KM is with point. Dengan point. So, I put a point here. The answer is 6.075 km. 7,300 m meter convert to km. So, this is in meter, dalam meter. So, I have to start from the column of meter. So, bermula dari belakang. 0, 0, 3, and then digit 7 right at the column of km. Now, check the unit in km. So, I circle km in one tree box. The answer is with point. Okay, so I put a point here. It is 7.300. Or you can cancel this two zero. Boleh buangkan dua zero di sini sebab ada point. So, you also can write like this. 7.3 km. And the last one, 5,390 m meter. So, same, I have to start from meter. 0, 9, 3, and digit 5 at the column of km. Now, we check the final answer is in km and meter. So, km, we look at the column of km is digit 5 there. Okay, so I write 5 km and meter for meter is 390. 390 means 390 meter. That's all for today. Thank you and happy learning.